Number 100. The lowest frequency in the FM radio band is 88 megahertz. What inductance is needed to produce this resonant frequency if it's connected to a 2.5 picofarad capacitor? So since we're talking about resonant frequency, let's write out the formula. It's 1 divided by 2 pi times the square root of the inductance multiplied by the capacitance. Now it's asking us for the inductance, right? So we can simply solve this by cross-multiplying this on out of the denominator into the numerator, bring this on down. I gotta get rid of that square root though, right? So what do we have to do then? Square both sides. After I square both sides, the square root cancels on the left, just leaving me with L times C, and this is then gonna be one over two pi times that resonant frequency squared. If I wanna find the inductance, I gotta divide out the capacitance from both sides, and there you go. All right, that's how you solve. Now at this point in physics too, this should be that quick, all right? You should be doing enough practice where this is just boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. So now all we need to do is basically just plug in the numbers, all right? So there's going to be one divided by now two pi multiplied by the resonant frequency, right? So it says that this has to be the resonant frequency, okay, 88 megahertz. And you know we need that in hertz, so that's just going to be 88 times 10 to the sixth. This whole thing has to be squared, and then it looks like a double Z over there, has to be squared, and then divide that now by the capacitance, and the capacitor was 2.5 pico. So 2.5 times 10 to the minus then 12th, okay? And the inductance now is going to be, so one divided by, parenthesis now, two pi, times 88 times 10 to the sixth. Get that answer and then square it, then divide it by 2.5 times 10 to the minus 12th now. So here we go. We get about 1.31, I guess that would be a micro, uh, Henry's, but I'm going to leave that as times 10 to the minus 6 Henry's, okay? I always put things in the standard units. And then that's letter A and letter B. The capacitor is variable to allow the resonant frequency to be adjusted as high as 108 megahertz. What must the capacitance be at this frequency? All right, so what they're saying now is that uh, the inductor is fixed. So we're basically going to do the problem out again. So instead what's going to happen, remember in this particular case over here, remember how we we divided out the, the capacitance basically, right? Uh, in this case, we're gonna divide out the inductance now, all right? So that's gonna be the new formula. So now this will become uh, one, it's gonna stay the same numerator. Uh, no, it's not. Sorry, the frequency is changing. So this is gonna be one divided by two pi times the new frequency here, which is 108 megahertz. So it's 108 now times 10 to the sixth. That whole thing squared divided then by the inductance you just found of 1.31 times 10 to the minus 6. I'm going to wind up using the exact value in the calculator when I do that, okay? So this is just 1 divided by now parenthesis 2 pi times then 108 times 10 to the 6th. Get an answer and then square it, okay? Then divide that then by that exact answer from before. And I get a 1.66 times 10 to the minus 12th now. So that's 1.7-ish right? Pico farads, but I'm going to leave it in terms of farads. There you go, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Look forward to helping you out with more problems. We're in the triple digits. Yay. Bye.